Hi Libra and welcome to your December love reading. Uh, I, this is a new channel. My name is Sam. This is Hey Stella and this is the soul of Stella when we talk about tarot. Uh, so I would love for you to subscribe if you like videos like this because I'll be posting a lot more. Um, and like and share this video as well. We are just covering at the moment a general overview for December love, whether you're in a relationship, whether you are looking for a relationship, whether you're dating uh, and seeing what's out there or whether you're single. Uh, we're going to look at archetypes and characteristics of the type of person who or the person that is coming towards you or is in your vicinity and what they have to say and some advice and outcomes as well. So with that being said, uh, this is a general collective reading. So please only take what resonates. Don't let it take from you, especially when you know that you have free will each and every day to make decisions, change your mind, take action to create a love story that suits you. Okay. So, um, yeah, don't let, uh, some lady on the internet tell you how your next month in love is going to pan out. This can kind of just be like a personal development, uh, viewing or, um, as like a heads up about what you can change. So let's get into it. I've pre-shuffled your cards and then I've got some tarot out here. I might need to clarify some of these though, because we have the death energy as your overall energy. Then we've got the 10 of cups, the page of pentacles and the four of cups in reverse. The death energy does talk about endings and then often about the rebirth, about the beginning again, about the cycles of life, about something that needed to end, I feel, in this situation. Um, it can bring about like a darkness, a dark night of the soul. It can bring about some sorrow or loss that is understandable when something ends. However, it's like a bushfire, then something is going to be regenerated and something else is going to be birthed and born and grow from this ending okay and then you've got the eight of cups underneath that so i feel like you're walking away from something that ended possibly um in a negative sense possibly with a fire uh with an earth sign possibly or that you moved away so that you can focus on your coin um but yeah something had to be said that ended this or that triggered that ending but we want to focus on <laughs> you actually have the lovers popping out underneath this deck here. So that's interesting. I'm actually going to pull that out because it was showing itself. Absolutely. And this kind of makes a bit more sense um, because we're talking about a love reading and I could extrapolate just based on these couple of cards. But when we get some clarification, it helps to build a full picture. And speaking of full picture, this 10 of cups is like the ultimate happiness of family, emotional fulfillment, emotional happiness, um, whatever family is to you, rainbow, sunshine, butterflies. Like this is like, hooray, happy times, you know? And especially given the season that I'm filming this for, this kind of makes sense that you're aiming for that, you're wanting that, that is in your like vision. I do feel like it is um, a time where you perhaps are coming into a new role possibly in work or job or career um, and feeling like maybe even studying again or you're at school and so this this kind of like happy family ending feels like it's kind of far away if that's the case but this also could be a person that is coming into your energy we'll clarify that in a second but it could be an earth sign that feels like they're not worthy or that they're a beginner in terms of maybe they just got a new job or they've just started at your work and they have their eyes on you. Um, yeah. Can we clarify who that is? Seven of Wands. Someone that is protective of their energy. Big time. <laughs> Big time protective of their energy. Setting boundaries. It could be the Empress or it could be the Emperor. So we do... Um, energy here not gender all of the people in this deck are actually females um it could be a same-sex relationship definitely with the rainbow present too um but the empress tells me that like it's someone who is seated in their power who has come to a new realization and has possibly moved away from a toxic situation themselves but um they might actually be feeling yeah i'm feeling like 
they're new at work so they might be feeling a little bit timid and protective of their energy but actually when you get to know them they are this healed healing high vibrational being um which is awesome because that's what you want you if you're coming into union with someone whether it's just a date uh, or a hookup or whether it's a relationship you're looking for to get things out of the way to move uh like past something and then I feel like you've got heaven's gates kind of in the background of this card that I've never really noticed before so I feel like you're moving into like this sunnier time that is the sun energy right there too like the sun is peeking through those gates um and you have just come out of a position and possibly this person as well a position where you felt like um nothing was good enough the four of cups when it's upright it's like I'm like she actually says it on her sweater i'm over it like mm, boredom apathy whatever uh, you're giving me that that lousy cup jeez is that it but actually like when it's reversed i feel like you do have gratitude for all the offers that have been presented to you emotionally and you're starting to see no matter how small the offering might be or how new the um the offering might be that something very beautiful could come from this yeah <laughs> you already know <laughs> you already know i'm actually losing my voice i'm so sorry guys um you already know you have this high priestess energy and if that is the case your intuition has been telling you for a long time that there is something better coming there was something better worth waiting for and you had a reason to be over it because um, you wanted like this one cup was being offered to you before and you wanted four or, um, you know, you had three cups in front of you and this other lazy, lousy offer was coming in and you were like, no, I want better. And you knew there was something better. You knew that there was ultimate happiness waiting for you. And you may be, um, you may have some water sign uh, Venus placements um, but you're definitely moving in the right direction and you've manifested this to the best of your ability and you've stayed in your power in terms of emotional maturity with this situation. This time around, I'm hearing your, um, this is actually something, a phrase that I heard. I'm going to keep her out. Um, while I was shuffling your cards, the, the phrase, the way I'm feeling, dealing and healing, <laughs> um, is better off with this person or is better off because of this connection. Okay. So take that how you will. I'm feeling healing and dealing better because of this. Okay. And you, this fertile, this abundant, this manifesting energy, uh, you're a good match with this person who appeared like the empress who appeared fertile and divine and, um, cool, calm and collected and like queen of all queens. And you knew that this relationship was, yeah, worth waiting for is what I feel. There's a lot of happiness coming your way. And I feel like you're like freaking finally, <laughs> freaking finally. Um, and it's going to help you deal and heal and feel much greater. I do feel like there is something to do with the work realm, though, the way that you meet this person with this page of pentacles and the high priestess actually has a laptop in her hand there. Um, so I feel like you may meet online through work or through an educational thing online as well um, or just education in general. Wow. Hi. Come through. <laughs> okay. We have the exorcist. <laughs> Is that not that, right? <laughs> Freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. Yeah, this like chieftain kind of energy is like you've had this epiphany, this awakening and this must. And it, it, the, all this death must have gone. Like all this loss had to go. All this... Um, it's almost like you had to surrender the negative you had to like purge something is what i'm hearing as well you had to get something out of your system interesting you've got teacher which again hints to that like work realm and does make sense if you work as <laughs> a teacher um with the education part that i was getting as well um ability to communicate knowledge experience skill or wisdom 
And then Mystic revels, uh, re revels in intimate union with the Divine. Then we've got Child Divine, Alchemist, Messiah. Gosh, these cards are loud. <laughs> and Mediator. No other group got this many cards. So... I feel like this might might be a spiritual teacher. Take that how it resonates. This is someone with a childlike nature who um, has like an innocence to them. Someone who has also been through some stuff and may have exercised it out of themselves to get them to this point um, of actually being able to meet you in a fair and just way and meet you in divine timing is what I'm feeling with this mystic card as well. And the alchemist turning something that was like harsh and hard and heavy into something that is liquid flowing, like Midas touch I'm getting as well. They had to unlock, I feel with the exorcist, they had to unlock that part of themselves. Messiah serving humanity with humility and mediator gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life. Respect for both sides of an argument. If they're not a teacher, I feel like they work in some kind of justice or judicial system or something where they help um, possibly help other people to separate their situations or mediate their situations. Some kind of counselor, therapist, something like that. Because there are a lot of cards that suggest that this person does good work for humanity online or in a teaching capacity or in a counseling capacity interesting let's get some physical attributes of this person i feel like through their work um you're able to notice them better you're able to notice them for what they are you're able to um determine that this person is the right person for you whether that is for right now or that they're a safe person as well um I'm just going to give this a bit more of a shuffle. These are just little uh, physical attributes with how you may recognize this person. Statement hair, green. There is a lot of green in this um, in this spread. I saw another one flip over. They may have green eyes or wear a green uniform, green outfit for work. Um, green is also super healing. So there's a lot of like regrowth, regrowth after that bushfire gray they may have gray hair or gray eyes or gray surrounding them may work in a gray building i'm getting but that's a physical characteristic card of what they look like um gray facial hair too they might have like be blonde but have gray facial hair another one just popped out thick now they're talking Thick, red, and wow. So, yeah, this might be someone that has quite of a dominance, is what I'm hearing with statement hair, thick, dramatic. The gray gives them wisdom. People notice them because it's like, wow. They have this wow kind of effect on people, and especially on you. Um, they may have red lips or red, like wear red lipstick, or red might be part of their outfit as well. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like this person has quite a noticeable appearance, quite a dominant appearance. This part person feels hard to miss because of the, the high level of their persona and also of their dominant dramatic look as well. And I think that you've done the work enough to recognize it and you've got this in mind. So you're, it's like your hormones <laughs> even are uh, attuned to this person and how safe they actually feel to you. Um, so these are what this person might say to you or say around you or what they'll have to say. Promise me you'll never leave me. I'm waiting for you to make a bit more of an effort in this i want to make things right these are chatty okay this person has a lot to say i feel like they are a communicator anyway with all of this high level work that they do um you give me the best kind of butterflies i'm willing to try anything goodness me i wish i met you years ago entrapment i feel like that was that like they understand where you're coming from 
um, that might have been a toxicity that they had to deal with as well. But I also do feel like that has to do with their work. Like I said, like something where they mediate between people and they see the fair like outcome of things quite well. Please do the healing work. I'm waiting, but I'm tired. There's a lot going on here. I'm actually totally okay about what you told me. It's okay. Gaslighting, and I know it. Um, I feel like they can easily pick a gaslighter because of the work that they do and the experiences that they've had. I'm deeply ashamed of how things have played out. Um, you'll love the new me. I've done all this with you as my goal. I feel like the deeply ashamed of how things have played out is their past. And this is elevated again. Their transformation into a humble a uh, humanitarian person who has um, a lot of wisdom, who teaches from a place of coming from the heart, of coming from um, helping people transform their lives to a higher good and a higher purpose. I feel like their past has taught them a lot and that actually now that they're meeting you, you're meeting them at the right time because they're this complete and healed kind of person, but together you're going to be even more of a team. Um, so make a little bit more of an effort, make it known to this person. I feel like they, their inner child may not necessarily believe what they feel unless it's really obvious. Okay. They do trust in spirit. I get that with the mystic card that reveals a lot about them. Um, but I feel like they, they want more of an effort. They want it to be very in their face so that it could be trusted, so that it can be real, the real deal. And I think they're looking for this as well. That's why they're saying this. Um, you do give them butterflies. They want to make this right. They want to make this this epic thing. Um, they're willing to try anything to make this work. They wish that they met you a long time ago so that they didn't have to go through this stage of like exercising something out of them, purging something out of them. And perhaps you think the same thing in that sense. There's so much chatter going on that I feel like a lot of this might be um, either you come to this person for a, a, like spiritual advice or something like that or counseling advice in the work realm. They might be actually like the counselor at your institution that you work um, or the like uh, HR or something like that. And so there's a lot that you might be discussed and then there might be a lot of talk to begin with. Um, but it's actually going to, um, help you both to see very clearly after the communication clearly communicates it, that there's a good connection here. There's a beautiful connection here that there's a higher love. I love that phrase, higher love. And like I said, that message that was coming through was meeting you helps me feel, heal, and deal. Okay, so it's going to help both of you. Can we get some more information, please, on this situation and how this is coming about? More information for Libra on how this is coming about. It's interesting that I did mention that they could potentially work in um, jurisdiction because of the sign that you are. They are a person who values balance as well. There's abundance in this. This was our first card. There's abundance in this together. There's a lot of emotional fulfillment that can come from this. Um, and you both deserve it. I feel like you've both done so much for the world and so much recovery, <laughs> right, to get to this place. Um you might have had to engage in a lot of meditation and some practices that are beyond what you would normally do, but you've been guided. You felt the presence of angels and you possibly will feel the presence of angels in this person, like in this person's presence as well. Listen to your intuition has come out for so many. And within the next few months, I think, I think things will lead to a new, um, possibly moving in together, but things are going to lead to this happiness quite quickly is what I'm feeling. Just because these two cards look very similar in terms of like, there's almost like a rainbow at the top of that one. And there's a stairway to get there. So there's a ways to go, but it's coming. And it's coming in the next few months. It's going to take some time to get off the ground with all this chat. But if you listen to your intuition, 
and you um, tap into that recovery, you don't just go, oh, I'm healed now. Because that phrase, healing, dealing, and feeling, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing process and you may trigger each other like all relationships do um, with different things along the way and you just have to communicate that is what's coming through um, very, very clearly. A lot of communication needs to continue. And this listen to your intuition, that high priestess card was out at the beginning clarifying and... I do feel like in the manifestation card, the, the magician that we saw under the deck before, it's it's something that you've known that you deserved and that's why something else had to end. That's why something else was never good enough. Some final information for Libra, December love, please, spirit. Okay, I won't force any more out because they didn't really want to talk. Love yourself first and this could be the one. I feel like we knew that. <laughs> You've already met the romantic partner you seek in this person. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And it does. The empress energy that came out under the deck as well is someone who, and the high priestess too, is someone who has a lot of self-love. Um, and recognizes that their worth in a partnership. It's actually so sexy. I've just been posting about that today, actually, is how healing is so sexy for both parties. It's not just for, like, uh, it's often coined as, like, the feminine looking for the divine masculine and going, oh, my gosh, I just, like, you're so sexy when you heal. But um, I also feel it's the other way around as well. Okay, it's got shush, <laughs> now, document, and plus. Yeah, I feel like there is a work kind of something being signed and signed, sealed and delivered. I just heard with document um, and it might be an urgent matter with this death. It's like something that kind of happens quite suddenly as well. Um, but also you might look at this person and just go, because you had that wow come up about their appearance, you might be like, wow, flabbergasted, I want you right now. <laughs> this little deck that I made is, is a, like a passion prompt deck. Um, so they, they are technically like used in the bedroom, but I love how intuitive the messages are. Um, so yeah, there might be a lot of listening. Um, this person might be a listener. And so that sh sh is giving them, or because there's so much chatter, they just want to sit in silence with you. But there is a lot of chatter that goes on. There's an equal balance, I feel, between quiet time, stillness, and shut up and kiss me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, shut up and kiss me right now. Um, and then, yeah, document. It might have something to do with something being signed, sealed, and delivered. You might be a plus one at an event, and then you meet this person. Or it could be um, LBG, LBGTQI. I've had to say that so many times today that I'm actually, like, tripping over it. I do apologize. Um, plus. That might be that, especially with the rainbows that I saw as well. But that is what I have for you, Libra. This is really beautiful and it feels solid. It feels grounded. You both feel ready, willing, and able. Um, and I'm excited for you for this gift for Christmas. Honestly, the healing, the dealing, and the feeling, that is something that I want for myself and I'm carrying that forward. So thank you for letting me read for you and, and getting that message for myself. Sometimes it's a two-way street. Anyway, if you did like this, please like and subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments below how it resonated because I very much appreciate that. Thanks for the exchange of energy in that response as well. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.